Hey guys, so I finally figured out the automatic um, server login and how you do it for um, with the new launcher. And you want to make a um, bat script file, and once you've made it, you um, right click um, to run it, and it will open up your Minecraft, log you in automatically, and then it logs you into the server automatically. Now this only um, will um, I've already tried this on a, a um, Windows machine, which one I'm running v Vista. But it also works on XP and Windows 7. Um, I do not have a Mac, so I am unclear if it works on a Mac or not. So, yeah. Uh, so, what you want to do is you want to uh, right click, you go New, uh, Text Document, and then you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it on um, iMine, like so. Then open it. And what you want to do, if I just change the uh, the text there so you can look and see it well. What you want to do is as your first line you want to write in at echo and then off. Then you click enter. Now what you want to put in your second line is you want to put your first quote and then you want to find the directory of your minecraft.exe. Now uh, I've got a shortcut to my minecraft on my dock and that's your directory for my minecraft.exe is under my local disk and then under my old programs, games and Minecraft. So you want to control copy if you're Windows 7 and XP, uh, if you're Windows Vista and, and Windows 7, just like, click on it and it'll bring up the, um, the um, location. If you're Windows XP, I think it already it has the location or something like that. Otherwise, then you just like go through it um, step by step. Uh, so once you've got that, you want to go back onto your um, uh, notepad, you want to copy that in, I mean paste it in, sorry. You want to go backslash and then you want to do minecraft.exe. There you go. Then you close it off with another quote. And now beside that, you want to put in your Minecraft username. And for me it's PPSBR. Then you want to put in your password and I'm obviously not going to uh, type in my password in front of everyone because that will be a bit stupid. Um, then beside that, you want to put in the server you want to connect to. So I'm obviously going to be using um, the iMind server. So for me, it'll be server dot server dot com. And then you want to put in the port. And my uh, I might use the default port, which is um, two five five six five. So yeah. Um, if you don't know what port um, your server uses, it's most likely going to use the um, default port, otherwise then um, yeah, it will be a different port number. So and that's it, once you've done it, you want to uh, go file, save as, you can save it to your, um, wherever you want, but I'm just going to save it to the desktop for the purposes of this video. And what you want to do is you want to replace the .txt with .bat, and I'm actually going to rename it to um, iMind2, because I've already got one uh, done. And so once you've done that, you can just click save and you can exit out your notepad and you have your uh, .bat file right here. And then you just double click to run it. I'm going to double click this one since this has got my password in, so it can log me in. And then it would work normally as fine and yeah. So that's how you um, get uh, your automatic server login. And then if you want to, um, if this isn't working or if you want to change it to a different server, you can just right click, edit, and you can just change whatever you want to change. Um, I will also provide a um, preloaded, um, well not preloaded, I'll provide a um, a um, laid out um, notepad document, which has um, instructions on how you, um, on how you um, do, um, what you call it? And how you fill in each um, bit and how to do it properly as well. So um, this would be um, in the description um, of the video as a um, as a um, download link, as a um, as a um, as a as a as a um, <laughs> as a download link. So you can just edit that and save it as a bat. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you found found. I hope you found uh, this useful and um, enjoy not having to go through a very long process. Um, once you want to connect to your favorite online servers, which of course, as you know, it's got to be iMind. Not really, but yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I hope you found this useful.